Hey, welcome back. I received a lot of positive responses from my last two videos on how to install a Dogecoin wallet and how to mine Dogecoin. So I thought it'd be a good idea to include how to buy it in case you're not interested in mining at all and you just want to buy and hold some crypto. So in this video, I'll walk you through what's required to buy Dogecoin in a few simple steps. To get started, there's going to be three things that you'll need. One, you're going to need a wallet. Second, you're going to need an address for your wallet. Now, the address is to be specific to Doge. So once you've created that, you'll obtain it, and then you'll want to transfer your coins to that address. And three, you need to sign up with an exchange so you can buy Doge with your fiat currency, whether it's Canadian dollars, US dollars, or British pounds, or whatever money you're using. You need to convert that money from your current currency over to crypto, and an exchange will do that for you. So let's take a look at step number one. So the first thing that you wanna do is have a wallet and it's best to have this wallet installed and readily available first before you buy any crypto. Now there's two different kinds of personal wallets that you can have. You can have a hardware wallet like Ledger or Tracer, or you can have a software wallet like Exodus. Now they're both safe and secure, but the software wallet is a little bit more flexible because you can install it on a phone or a tablet or a computer and it's easily accessible. Because basically what you want to do is as soon as you buy the crypto, you want to transfer it into your personal wallet so you're fully in control. Now the reason why I say you want to be fully in control is because there's instances like Quadra CX where the exchange had suddenly shut down because of the founder's death and hundreds of thousands of coins were no longer accessible and you do not want to be in that position. Next, you want to make sure that you have a Doge address in your wallet. So you're creating an address for Dogecoin in your wallet. So once you have purchased it, you can transfer those coins to your address. Now, once you've added this coin to your wallet, you'll get a receive address and you can copy and paste that. This address can be publicly displayed. It's kind of like an email address where you can hand it out to everybody. And it doesn't really matter who you give it to because the most that they can do with this address is send you something. They won't be able to actually take anything from you. And you can also put it on exchanges so you're able to receive the currency. So now that you have those two out of the way, you can open an account with an exchange. And an exchange is basically a website that you can go and take your fiat money, which is your Canadian dollars, US dollars, euros, or whatever you're buying it with, and convert that with the exchange to buy cryptocurrency. Now, most exchanges allow you to use your debit card or major credit cards like Visa and MasterCard, uh, but there's always some sort of fee involved. So I recommend definitely taking a look at what fees are involved with your purchase. So you understand the total amount of your purchase. Now, this will vary from exchange to exchange. And once you have purchased your coins, you then want to transfer it to your personal wallet for safekeeping. Now, a couple of exchanges I can recommend that have a fairly good reputation is Binance, Kraken and Coinbase. And if you're in Canada like me, I've used Endax and ShakePay. Uh, but those are some great choices that you can use. There's many exchanges out there. You don't have to use any of these ones. These are more reputable ones that you can use. And I don't think there's any problems with those. Uh, again, once you have bought your cryptocurrency, make sure you transfer it to your personal wallet so you have full control of your coins. Now, if you have any questions, please go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you found this useful, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.